city of Durban down there. Um, kind of a no-go area on Pol, to some extent. So that's your protection there, electric steel gate. And this is the shoreline from Schlonga Rocks, very rich area of uh, north of Durban. That's the pier for the uh, stormwater or whatever disposal into the, into the ocean. You can see the ships all lined up, waiting to go into Durban Harbour. Kind of a stormy day. These are the famous rocks in front of the lighthouse, which is right there. Schlonga Rocks Lighthouse. Good. Longer Rocks Mall at Durban. Uh, it's big by, even by North American standards, uh, but it's a safe place to shop in Durban. Uh, I'm really walking around. Uh, prices are really good. So as Dad points out, this is African evolving into modern. Um, got certain, I don't know, decorative features of, of what you'd expect of an African. This is, uh, you know, there's some unusual cultural differences in a mall in South Africa, and I'm trying to point those out. As I go around, a lot of Indian influence, Indian fashion, uh, obviously different from South, from uh, Canada. Uh, you can see the men's fashion, Indian women's fashion store. I like this one. Maggie would like that. Oh, Maggie might like this. Although this one might be better for that. I think that would look exquisite on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, she wants bangles. Look at this. Aren't they beautiful? No, no. You need a size. The largest we keep. But they. This is a uh, equivalent of a thousand. No, sorry, eight hundred, eight hundred dollars, which is like, I think it was six thousand, six thousand rand. Beautiful, sorry. Another Indian store. I think it's called the Raj. Again, saris, but things not really saris. That's a sorry. These are not so much. I don't think I'm no expert. You should like it. How much is it? Wow, how much are the saris? Thank you. This one. 400. 600. 600. 250. 250. That one's 75. Oh, look at that. Wow. That would be our color. Could we see it maybe unfold? Let's see if we can send it to her on the internet. Oh, don't you? What's that? Industry in South Africa, parking guards. Um, they basically hang around outside the, what's it called, the hyper, the pick and pay hyper market. Um, or wherever else, they, they, direct, uh, they direct you on how to park your car. They, uh, there's a gentleman over here cleaning tires. I don't know see him at any He's on the other side of the car. Uh, just cleaning up and whatever, cleaning the tires. Um, they pretty well uh, help you unload your grocery carts, as this gentleman's doing over here, lady. I guess they're all from Zimbabwe or the Congo, and it's the only way they can find a, find a way to support themselves, uh, short of that living in the squatter camp, or maybe they do already. So they're in these kind of snappy, khaki colored uniforms with a jaunty angle on the hat. And admittedly, when I was first parking here, I, I kind of didn't want them to give me a hand, but now that I see, they're, they're working so hard just to make a living. The gentleman over on this side was armor rolling the tires and just cleaning the underneath of the car without the person even knowing that he was doing it. And they'll probably ask for a little tip at the end. And in truth, you know what? It's hard to begrudge them. They're, they're, just, they're just doing everything they can to live and, and survive. So, you know, that's, you know. So I'm here with my Aunt Barbara in the um, bamboo thicket here at the Durban Botanical Gardens. And a question came up. The question was, uh, why do you speak to the uh, people who guard the, the cars 
And uh, this is what Barbara had to say. Well, if you stand in amongst the car guards, you will see how few people even say good morning. They just get out the car, lock the car, and then walk off. They come back, they put all the goods inside the car. They don't give them a word or anything at all to brighten their day. Some of these car guards have lost entire families. Some of them, they've lost their wives. And I think that's enough to drive any man mad. It is absolutely... Where are they from? From the Congo. There we go. One of the important tasks of the car guard is helping put the groceries away. South Africans are terrible drivers. And as you can see, they're all in need of parking assistance or unparking. Another important task for one of the parking guards to direct people out of the parking spots. Go on trouble. The parking guard gives uh, parking advice, which is a bonus. <laughs> Not all of them he teaches people. ladies how to park. Yeah, he teaches ladies. Go to a driving school. No, you have to teach you how to get out of the town. How am I going to get out? I'm not going to get out. Yeah, you get out of it. The flower is not above me. Oh, okay. The flower is... Is it? Come up with me. Hello, my love. Hello. How are you? 79. Huh? Only in Durban do you make your own curry at the supermarket. Everyone makes the same. Talking all kinds of masalas, special Durban curries, etc. Mother in law is medium. That's mother in law. That's mother in law. You can also buy it in the package. It's very hot, the Indians. What is in the curry? Is there some kind of a standard mix that you have? Yeah. What, what do you put in every curry? I put all the spices in Oh, really, eh? All the spices. Dania powder, white all masala. The okay. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, I just want to, I want to, what, what's your name? Michelle. Michelle, where are you from, Michelle? Congo. From the Congo. Mm. Yesterday when I came here, mm. there was no car spots. And you saved me a car spot for this morning up at the top, mm. which I was grateful. And I realized when we work here, when, when we are in South Africa, mm. you need car guards. Mm. We don't need it from my country, but here you've got to have it. The car spaces are too small. How long have you been here? 11 years. 11 years? Uh, 11 years. 11 years. Uh, well, anyway, I just want to thank you very much. You do a great thank job. You, thank you, thank you very much. Yes. Take care of your, your mom. Yes. My friend for a long time. Oh, you know her? Yes, I know her for a long time. <laughs> you call her mama? Yes, you see her. Uh, yeah, call her mama. Yeah. Like That's her. nice. Do you have family in the Congo still? I have my wife, she's here, my children. She's here. That's good. Yes. Yeah, thank you very thank, much. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mom. Can I? Sorry.